hello, everyone. Uh, it's great to meet you guys here. Uh, I want to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Andy Zhong. Uh, I'm CEO and founder of uh, FunPlus, uh, a global gaming company, and also a new uh, entertainment startup called uh, Next Entertainment. Um, before I start, I want to ask uh, a question. Uh, if you guys are the first time to attend Slush, uh, please raise your hand. Great. Um, all Slush colleagues ask me, what is my uh, first impression in uh, Slush Tokyo? Uh, my, uh, my answer is uh, young and disruptive. Uh, that's the same feeling I got from a young startup as well. Uh, that's Slush Japan. So every startup uh, started with a really uh, a little secret story of founders. Um, so I started the company seven years ago. Um, before that, I spent a few, few years in Silicon Valley making games. Uh, the reason to start the company is really, um, I, um, it's a typical story. We don't get satisfied, satisfied from the work. Uh, we always told how to do the games uh, by the people who don't understand games. Um, then me and my partner just say, how about we create a gaming company by ourselves, right? At least we can create games by ourselves. That's how we started the company. Um, we started the company to create games globally, um, majorly focused on US and Europe market. <coughs> So I think that that's, might be a really interesting story for some of you to share, because uh, I originally from China. I spent a few years uh, in Silicon Valley uh, making startups. So when I was thinking about doing startup, I didn't start from a uh, Chinese market, uh, because uh, I don't know Chinese market enough, honestly. Um, and also, uh, when we start a company, we kind of feel a uh, global company is cool. We want people all over the world to play the game we are making. So that's, that's the idea when we started. So we start this uh, little startup by uh, doing the first title called the Family Farm. Uh, it's a family, uh, it's a family uh, simulation uh, title. Um, in 2010, we start this game in Facebook uh, initially. Uh, the game has gone really a uh, good success initially. Uh, it went to top 10 in Facebook in uh, 2011 and 2012. Um, we got around 20 million users in the first 12 months uh, without too much marketing. So I think uh, we're really lucky uh, as a startup. And we constantly spend a lot of time to build a community. The community is really strong. So we have uh, uh, 50 million fans for this game uh, in Facebook. <coughs> so in 2014, uh, we sold one of our company uh, to a Chinese listed company. Uh, that's my first exit for my startup life. <coughs> um, I want to share a little bit about this experience. Um, so I think in 2014, um, we released the first game in 2011. And then we made another two or three games uh, between 2011 and 2014. We never make the second game more successful than our first game. Um, the games we're making are really, really successful, but not as successful as the first title. So that's, we, we suffer a little bit as a game designer and also as a founder. We, we, we always want to make another game which is more successful than the first game. Until in 2014, we um, saw the company Supercell coming out. Um, we played their games, uh, Heyday. I, I still remember Heyday and the Clash of Clans. Um, all our founders, we are doing games in Silicon Valley for many years. So 
we just start to, to say, wow, where this company from, right? Why the game is so good? Uh, especially Heyday is it's, uh, in the simulation category, which is the category we, we built the first game in 2010. So we start to learn about the, the company and the, uh, we, we start to dig, dig a little bit more into how they struck the company, how they do games. Then uh, we got into a conclusion says, um, okay, this company is really great. Uh, we need to learn from them. Uh, we need to focus much more in mobile. We need to focus a lot of resource in mobile. We need to build really small teams and really, really talented teams to make games. So I think that 2014, um, when we are forming the strategy to really, really invest in, in small teams, in innovation, a um, bunch, uh, bunch of all investors introduced um, a list of company in China, they, they come in to talk to us, say, uh, how about I will invest you guys uh, and just give you more financial support to be more innovative and uh, uh, go global more, more, more aggressively. So eventually, we accept the offer uh, to sell part of the company. The main reason is because we feel we need more money and uh, at that time, we feel unsafe. We kind of feel there's a company are so good, better than we are. We feel unsafe. So we, we did a transaction. We want to make a better games. Really luckily, um, after the sale of the company, uh, we started making more studios, more games, and also invest other studios because we're really eager to learn how do you be more innovative? How do you, be, how do you make great, great games, great products? So I think that's another game from us uh, half a year ago. Uh, we worked on this game for the last three years. We started this game in 2013. We never shipped this game uh, until last year. Uh, we always feel, wow, that's not enough. So this game got a really good success. Uh, we ranked number one in the US for one week. Um, uh, right now it's averagely 25, top 25 globally by revenue. Uh, so for this, um, for this story, what I want to really share is Never give up what you believe. But you also, you need to learn and adapt fast if something changing. And if other people, other company are doing better, you need to change fast. So we insist on doing games um, by really small studios. Um, we wait for many years. Uh, this title passed the first title made in 2010. Uh, it's seven years. Uh, it's six years. Uh, we wait for six years until we make the, another hit, which is bigger than the first one. So uh, during uh, from 2014, when we uh, sell one of our subsidiary, we try to be innovative. Uh, one of the innovation is we just try to thinking about what is really important, right? Uh, the answer is talents. How you organize your structure, how, to, how you recruit the talents are most important. Then we ask ourselves, if we want to recruit a key employee, if someone join Funplus, how we can convince them? How we tell the story, say, come on, guys, join us, right? So I think the answer we get is, let's make the company a small. Make every company is independent, has a unique mission. This mission is really, really easy to, so, to tell people, and uh, this is what we do. If you want to join us, join us for this mission. So that's what we learned. Uh, we start to break the company into different uh, in independent business. And also we start to invest the company as well. Uh, so on the left, that's the company we founded. Uh, Next Entertainment, uh, the label uh, is, the label is uh, like an HBO model for uh, premium games. Uh, those are company on the right, are the on the left, are the company we invested. Uh, Inco, I, won't go, I, I will go into in introduce a little bit. Uh, Cloud9, which is uh, number one in sports company in US. 
uh, there's a few other companies as well. Uh, every company we invest, they have a mission which really, really impressive. It's, the mission is almost makes me feel I want to join this company. So that's why I, uh, we invest. So I'm going to introduce a little bit about, about Inca. Uh, we call it Inky in English. Uh, Inky, the company is founded in 2015, uh, around two years ago. It's growing really, really rapidly. Uh, I want to show a chart. Um, maybe this one at first. Uh, this is the data for MAU, for Inky. So um, uh, you guys can look at the orange, orange line. From 2015, um, October, and you can see the MAU is rapidly grow and it's passed YY uh, in 2016 May, uh, roughly at 25 million MAU. So I think it grows really, really fast. <clears throat> What's the reason for growth? For growth, right? Because uh, live streaming is nothing new. It has a long history in China, has long history in Japan, long history in US. Um, Inky, the secret for Inky is innovation and the founders. Uh, that's the conclusion I get after spending roughly one and a half a year with them. Um, initially, I, I don't know. I, I kind of feel, wow, why this company grow, right? Uh, it's because of the beauty five features. It's because of, because of the, the mobile experience, because of they have more beautiful uh, streamers. Uh, the answer I get after one and a half a year is no. Uh, it's because of the founder and the, the innovation the company has. So I, I, I can share a little bit about the, uh, the revenue. It's really amazing, the company. Uh, in 2016, April, it's uh, number seven uh, globally, uh, number six uh, just by iOS. Uh, so really amazing numbers. Um, if you guys look at the chart, um, on the top is mostly like Netflix, HBO, and the, all those apps from uh, US. <clears throat> so uh, what is an Next Entertainment? After spending more time with Inky, uh, I really impressed by the founder and the team. Uh, and also the innovation ability. Uh, just the way I, I um, actually, actually Supercell came out, I really amazed just by how good the product it is. So we brought out a suggestion, say, how about we uh, create a company to bring Inky overseas, outside of China. Uh, six months ago, uh, we, we, founded, uh, we founded this company. Uh, we started brainstorming how we can bring live streaming uh, innovation to China, uh, outside of China. As I uh, start to always uh, mention, innovation is important. What's, what is the innovation uh, in Inky? <clears throat> Why innovation matters, right? I think two years ago, Inky bought a really unique idea about a mobile streaming platform without agency, right? Because in the old days, all the live streaming channels are dominated by agencies. You always see the same kind of different kind of big agency content, and they kind of manipulate the content. Even some of the algorithms, some of the rankings are manipulated. So I think when mobile age coming, people want to understand more. If I'm a streamer, I want to understand why I can make money, why I rank in top 10, 10 why I rank in 20, top 20, but not, not top five, how I can make it myself the top five. So I think that's back two years ago, uh, the innovation is really, really strong. It gives uh, streamer with a mobile phone, a great opportunity. 
they want to try. They kind of feel, wow, that's cool. Of course, they also have a really good user experience. Uh, beautify features, blah, 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 two years ago. But <clears throat> six months ago, everyone in China want to copy Inky. So there's more than 100 live streaming platform coming out. Inky's DAU kind of flat for quite a while, for a few months. <clears throat> but for ourselves, we know from inside, we are innovating. We know the innovation in the past don't support the innovation, the growth, the growth in, for many years. You always need to keep innovation because people copy you and you need to innovate more. So one month ago, we released a uh, live streaming feature for games, which is streamer can use two phones. One is for the streamer, one is for the game, mobile game. One screen will automatically overlap on another one. You can switch between this one and another, another one. So we see a really, really amazing growth this month. Really, really ma amazing. Because before, mobile live streaming for games, it's just one phone, right? Like, you, you can't do too much. Either you just focus on the streamer, or either you just focus on the game screen. So I think they use a really, really innovative approach. So that's the one example I want to mention is founders and the company's DNA matters or not not just the numbers. So we all know like content, entertainment are global. We all want to distribute content globally. We want to distribute content in China, Southeast Asia, US. But from my experience, innovation are the key for distribution. Because if you are unique, when you get into any market, you have an advantage. So innovation, including technology, including co content itself, including how you run the community, including how you market yourself, right? That's a lot of innovation in different perspective. Uh, but the inno innovation plays a big role in global distribution. <clears throat> and also, I keep saying the most important thing is the team. What is the great team? Just like I mentioned about my first impression about Slush Japan, young and disruptive. The team needs young and disruptive, right? It doesn't mean they need to be young in age, but their ideas, their philosophy, and also their understanding of the new things need to be really young. And they need to thinking really disruptively. They need to do things really disruptively. Right? Um, I think that's really uh, important. Then why those people will join your team, right? Why, why not other people? Why not other team? So I think, uh, as I mentioned, um, in the past, we learned that a strong vision and a really clear mission are equally important. So you need a company has really, really visionary founders, but also you need have a plan, really, really clear. What do you will do here? Why you come here? What do you will achieve? So the mission needs to be clear. So if you have these two things, I think you will have a great team. So we didn't have the best team at the beginning. We never have the best team. But in my experience of doing startup, I always try to learn more, especially the recent three years since 2014, I always ask myself a question. Do we have a really, really good vision for this business? Do, I have, do we have a really clear mission for the people who join us? So if we can answer these two questions clearly, I think it will be really good. <clears throat> so another thing is about the evaluation of the evaluated innovation. Uh, we, we learn a lot in the, in the process of making gains. Uh, we, it's, making gains is never easy. 
takes us seven, six years to pass the record of the first game. And during this process, we made more than 10 games. And how to evaluate the games? It's not like say, okay, this game's good, this is not good, right? This game looks beautiful, this is, I love this game. No, I think I need to have a great way to evaluate the innovation. Sometimes it doesn't look beautiful. It doesn't look amazing at the beginning. But you need to have a way to understand it and why people create this. Why they are like this, not like that, right? Um, so I have a picture which is uh, from a, a old Disney animation. So I think also um, about define the right matrix is really important. Uh, fun and engagement are really important, not just uh, statistics, not uh, just about uh, first day retention, 30 days retention. Uh, those numbers are usually just for reporting, right? You need to really feel fun, you need to feel engaging. And also, find your core audience, it's really important. Uh, I always hear people say, what is your addressable market? She says, everyone, not good. Uh, <laughs> Because if everyone is your market, addressable market, no one will be your addressable market. So you need to find your core audience. Um, and also you need to take care of your core audience. There's a metaphor says, that's a metaphor we used for uh, operation gains. Say, if you run a coffee shop, uh, your coffee shop has um, 1,000 customers then how we can expand to 10,000 customers? One way is let's take care of these 1,000 core users and make them feel really, really happy, so excited. Then they will tell their friends. Another way is, okay, let's put some water into the coffee and split to 10,000 people, right? Let's sell to 10,000 people. Let's try to promote to 10,000 people. That's two ways, uh, but the result will be really different. We usually take the first route, take care of the 1,000 people really, really seriously, and make them self to speak for your product, and let's say, let them to promote your product. So execution, iteration, um, I, I want to spend too much time. Uh, I don't want, uh, I think, uh, my session, the, the time is limited. I want to give the time to the next wonderful speakers. Uh, thanks a lot for the uh, attending and a really great to meet you guys. Thanks.